Hey everybody, welcome back to some more one versus one action with your boy Rasmith. <laughs> um, this time around, I am finally, I think, commentating on my own again, which most people seem to prefer. You know, sometimes you you just want to uh, people just want to hear my thoughts instead of the shit talking, which is obviously perfectly fine. Um, I'm playing uh, Eastern Block Armored, which if we again ignore DLC, is probably one of the decks that benefits the most out of Armored, because most, as many Red Four tanks have, not that great accuracy, so you benefit or your you gain a significant um, boost to your abil combat abilities of the tanks. You know they usually sacrifice accuracy for auto loaders. Um, so that's that's nice, and of course one of the few decks, at least on Red Four side, that actually gets shock infantry in the in in that spec. I do suppose both of the DLC decks now also bring shock infantry, um, but before the Finland and Yugoslavia, uh, Montreal's not the only ones. Um, the fact that the deck just doesn't have. The perf like some nice IFVs is a bit annoying. Like the East German BMP2 is nice and all, but you can only bring it with Modrits and no 10 point infantry, so I'm hesitant on using it. And the Polish and Czech IFVs all cost like 20 points or more, so that's also not that great. Um, yeah. Um, the only thing that's bothering me is that none of the below 85 point tanks are particularly great. Um, I used to run two cars of T72s, I'm trying out the T55 here, which the main issue with the T55 is it gets, it has just not enough armor, so it gets one shot by spikes, you know, the spikes can one shot anything up to seven armor and the T55 does have seven armor. Recon is serviceable, sadly you don't get Spezialaufklärer, which have the 17 AP RPG. Um, Helicopters are perfectly fine, the Heinz are very nice. Um, <laughs> and, you know, Eastern Block Air Type is just very, very solid, to say the least. And for 1 versus 1s, it's probably one of the better ones you can get. If you look at the average strength of the all the planes here, nothing is really horrible. I do run a farm, because I have the Mister to have some indirect fire support. Um, and that's all there is to say. I'm, I think, nah, nah. considering I start with a FOB, I don't think I want to start with the T72 CV. Um, it is obviously the safer option, but yeah. I should mention that Tortik is playing USA, by the way. So, what's our plan? Well, um, I have to think. I think we can go for Gregory. We have um, the Grom, which is very, very nice. For the price, it's some very nice AA piece. So let's get three of those. Two for left side, one for Dimitri. Um, we are going to push with medium tanks, I think. The M1M is not necessary because the uh, missile is not very useful in that. Those engagement ranges. Let's get some T55s. Some M1 works, hopefully that's enough. This for mid. This as well. Let's get two of you for mid. Um, you want to start with the mortar. I think I am gonna get a Moderna for mid though. Then two for you in mid and two for you on the left. I don't have Rican on the left just yet, but I think that's gonna be fine. I could probably sacrifice the mortar and buy it later on. It does have a good amount of range. And um, I may want to start with or get get a Lazur early on as well. I'm thinking we maybe want to delete one of the conquerors. God, what what did I say? What did I do wrong? Oh. Uh, Um. Yeah, maybe I think I think I'm gonna sacrifice the one. One's obviously still going for the town. I 
wanted to get the other one here, but I think instead I'll get a Nesca. It showed with uh, red dragons. I'll explain another time. <laughs> maybe on maybe when I'm streaming this week. If I'm streaming. There, USC in here. What else needs my attention? OT62, in case I forgot about this. T55. More tick. And I can't get the Lazur. And then next buy is gonna be the Mortar. Which we will just buy from Boris. Freaking Cobra. Nice. Could have potentially dealt quite a lot of damage to me. No T55s. Did I accidentally give them a shift command? Oh, I, I bought four T55s, not two. Okay, that explains why. Ranger is in there. Where are you gonna push? Looks like a mid push to me. Um, I'm thinking of buying a bomber as soon as I can. Quite an interesting push. I'm, I'm usually not a fan of pushing up there, but you know, we'll see what happens. There's a bomber. Let's just bomb in here. What did I destroy? Oh, that's just normal fire. Getting f uh, fired back at by something. I think that's a tank. It's HC Abrams or whatever it was. And watch. All right, I still have these two T55s. <clears throat> Abrams. Again, I believe it's an HC. Yeah. Right, let's get some mud shots in here. Let's get a Wilk and then start pushing Dimitri. Still have a full HP Moderna. Let's get some mud shots on the left as well.
the, the nice thing about the MiG-29 is it reloads very quickly. And I've said this before, but in case you don't remember or you haven't heard me say that yet, um, if it gets out undamaged, it's basically ready as soon as the flames uh, go out again. So it's a very nice indicator for you to know when it's gonna be ready again, you know. Just a small little thing, it's not gonna be huge, but it can be nice. This is Chaparral. Get a... Get some AA in our base as well. I don't wanna have anything sneak there. I think I'm gonna get an MI2. I wanna get an overview over, over what's going on there. I think he also still has a Bradley somewhere. I just don't know where. Base M1. Not a huge deal, but it is annoying against base much. It's an so obviously don't have the best anti-tank weaponry. No ADGM firing. M1 on threes. Oh, he has a second ranger squad in here. Let's get some T-55s just to stop any light shit just driving down there and flanking me. Like a T-72 in this forest. Just bomb that and get a supply truck for those conquers. And he has only one AA piece. That's a chapter. Let's fire at that. It was terrible micro by me, and then my milk also missed, which makes it twice as bad. Is this, the milk is getting spotted, excuse me, is there something in there? Let's get an M2 work. HC Abrams is not a huge threat right now. We got that you out, I didn't give you any target to bomb. Small, okay, so there is shit in there. Hutchinson should win this shock and they have more, more HP. Rifleman 90 trying to sneak up again. Hmm. 
together, one of you. So just so we have that M124D to deal with like these riflemen just trying to walk through. I don't want to move these works away because I don't want to give up my position there. Did I? Did I not buy a supply track for this side? I hope it didn't get intercepted and I forgot about it. I completely missed that he's attacking there. Another no, we have a Rican squad and a helicopter coming in, so that's that's good, but that's good enough. I'm wondering if we want to get a Mista or if it's too early. Get line of sight to that Abrams. Oh my god. Okay, this did not get intercepted, so that's very good. Uh, I forgot about you. It's an ACAP. Let's get an M1M over here. Let's get a recon squad. No, he's spoiling them? What? Ah, oh, that's so unfortunate. Lose my T70. Oh, probably from the infantry that's in there. That's unfortunate. Did I, am I saying that too often? I just realized. I think I say it all the time when I lose something. Probably getting annoying by now. If you, if you, it's like one of these things that if you don't pay attention to how often you say it or how often I say it in the scenario, you don't notice it. But now that I said it, you're probably saying, "Oh, Jesus! Now I cannot, can't unhear it. Now I hear it all the time." And he says it. Oh, for a second, I thought, what kind of ATG uh, is firing there? There's Bradley that I was talking about. I was thinking about getting a CVS phone, considering he got one, I might as well get it as well. Trying to bait this later. Yes. I mean, it's not. It wouldn't. It doesn't do much damage to him, anyways. He has a pivot, and I wanna really get a lot of value out of this bomber. I wanna see if I can protect it, should he get a bit lucky or I unlucky with my planes. He's a patriot. 
can't get out alive, so that's good. Let's get a second CV like immediately afterwards for this side as well. Oh, that's a Bradley. That's a Bradley. Also Bradley. Oh, these rangers there, that they're gonna make things annoying. Let's mark this off. Here's the HC. Go for the go for the Bradley. Oh, really? Really? It's so unfortunate. Some more meat shields, some more shots of 90. <clears throat> Let's get you into this forest, you're getting spotted, but I, and I don't like that. Apparently he doesn't realize that this HC is spotted. Oh yes, two Patriots now. Holy shit. Holy shit. Well, I did hit him once. So... His HC is significantly damaged, and if he wants to move out, I should be able to spot that. Maybe I can catch him off. I just have to make sure to smoke out the Bradley. Inefficient. Ah, uh, and I missed a, missed a window with this. I think we can get a tank C for this side. I should try to make better use out of my fob. I haven't used it once, or like... Probably what's that? Might be a later version of the Abrams, I'm not sure. It's a Humvee CV. We're back there now.
I'm I'm surprised to have not seen any AAs or proper proper planes from usage from him so far, or any planes. So I I'm kind of anxious. So I am gonna preemptively buy a tour. I barely have any AA on the field, and I didn't get punished for it at all so far. But I don't want it to stay that way, really. Cobra, that's what I have. My man pads and their transports for you turn off your thing. I don't want you to get spotted. You're spotted as well. You turn off your MGs for now. I bought you for the anti tank weapons. It's some T55 action. Done. Really? You see a rim stun to 3 HP. And he seems to not notice it. Now he does. The spider, the spider, mister. Oh, I forgot about this. Holy shit. Oh, and there's a longbow. Oh, yes, Grump. No! 81%! I did lose my M2 work and I didn't... Oh my god. I don't have any man pads left. Kind of worrisome. T72 is spotted. Oh, my thing is. Has to evac. My. Ah, uh, let's do her to evac. Get an M2 Wilk again. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh no, I'm not. 84%, why should we hit? Well, considering some of the shots that I missed so far, I take that as... Uh, oh no. As you know, getting even. That's obviously a very awkward position. Longbow also. Oh, come on. 
um, his uh, I can't talk. Sorry, his patriot makes it very hard to actually try to dive for the longbow with my lasers. Where's his freaking CV? I did lose the. Ah, oh, that's oh god, that's horrible. That's terrible. I lost like all of my units here, and I never really. He supplied them. That's bad. Fine, let's just go for this with our Mister. Bradley. Oh, come on, really? Nighthawk survived with 3 HP, presumably. Well, at least he missed as well. So... There's that. Oh, come on, really? You missed twice in a row. That's so unfortunate. So unfortunate. It is so fucking unfortunate and unlucky. <sighs> Get a new one though. I did kill the CV, so there's that. Let's shoot in there. More M one one threes, as or unsurprisingly, it's gets you not as far close because then he'll just move up an AA piece and shoot it without me getting any value from this unit. You on, on there? Oh, that's a pivots Cobra. I just killed the Cobra, so that's nice. Also, apparently, it did slow him down quite a bit, so. He, I might have the time to uh, save my CV. Let's get you back and resupply. Oh, he spots the USE. Obviously, that's never good. Maybe up in the air. There's still a long uh, the Nighthawk, even though it's damaged. That's another HC Abrams. I think I might buy another or a new Syria for that. He did get the shot off, which is unfortunate. Oh no, that's a dead. Oh, nice, very nice. 
think losing it is fine. We're pretty late into the game. And that completely halted his assault there, I'd assume. That's very, very good. It's a trade I'd take any day. Get some shit in there. He did counter cap that, which is honestly fine. Right, I have this one thirty five here, which is very good for me be able to deal with that Bradley relatively easily. This is probably gonna die. Or not, because it hit front armor. Okay, very good. Events. Did I kill the longbow or where did the longbow go? It's dead. It's his CV firing. He just turned off the gun as well, so it stops firing. Javrel on 1 HP, unfortunate. Rangers are still alive. Oh, let's just tank the shot. Actually, no, we have the T-55s coming in for that. Cobra. Let's play safe and buy a Strela for there. Let's get some more infantry. And another M1 Wilk. I think he didn't even realize that I have this there. I just, that I just killed, I think, that I killed it. This, uh... That's some nice accuracy. Oh yes, tank in there, or tanks. You, sir, just made the worst decision of your life. Yep. That went pretty well. I think outside of losing the Moderna, we were never really in a position where I'd say, oh shit, now we're massively on the back foot or something. I think the problem was that his push, it kind of, yeah, that his push in mid just bomber. Um, what was it? What was I gonna say? I oh, I did kill one patriot. Wow. Um, yeah, his push early on just he didn't gain the ground, and me having the Moderna that just slowed him down so much, even if it died later on, that I could just com take complete control, more or less complete control on the left. Even and even and that I think that was important because I think many people and me in the past again I'm not perfect or anything would have potentially used the M1 Wilkes and rerouted rerouted them to mid. But I think not doing that made the game in the end a lot easier for me.
Um, yeah, I, th I think I was always like in a slightly, or most of most of the game, in a slightly advantageous position. I think, I think have I don't know if actually I was gonna say. Um, I was gonna say that maybe you should have bought a longbow earlier, but I'm not sure how much that would have done. It, I think it might have done a lot in mid because I only had that one Grom squad that was further in the bank, and I didn't have the the tour just yet. Um, so that could have potentially done a lot of work, but at the same time, earlier on, more of my Groms were still alive on the field, especially on the left. I still had two squads there. So maybe it also could have done, could have been a much worse decision. Both of us had some bad um, RNG every now and then. Like my my M1 M missing with both of the missiles. Um, uh, Messeria not hitting one a single one of the missiles on the Bradley and then later on hitting both on the HC. Um, but I think overall it, it, it was a nice match and uh, once we just were able to solid solidify the position in mid the world was just our oyster so you know we, we, we were basically sad. Um, I think if you're in a position, I think against, I think the good thing was that he played his US deck very mech and armored heavy. Um, so he played very slowly and wasn't really relying on A10 snipes, spotting with a longbow, Nighthawk and shit. And I think that... Um, and I think that really helped me, because obviously I'm a very slow deck, and um, you know, being in a defensive position. Is what you want to want, want to be in, I think, with this deck. It also helped that he didn't like play like a ridiculously strong deck as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you're happy, Mike. And I think I don't know what to play next or what I'll play next. Maybe some more on taunt. I'm really enjoying on taunt in a way, even even if it feels a bit filthy. But I think out of all the DLC decks, it's the deck I play style wise that I prefer the most. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I'll hopefully see you next time.